What's up? Today we're gonna learn how we can integrate the bootstrap tree with code igniter. Uh, it's fun and first thing first make sure you have this up and running code igniter. Uh, for example as mine here I have just installed it right now. It's a fresh installation and nothing here yet as you can see. So I'll demonstrate how we can integrate bootstrap tree within this code igniter and use it use it as a template so first of all I need to want to download the bootstrap tree uh, I'll go ahead and download bootstrap tree by going the customize option and at the very bottom I'll click in the compile and download button so once I've clicked the download should get started As you see, it's been downloaded, and so I'll go ahead into the folder where I've downloaded this, and here it is. I'll just gonna copy past the CSS fonts and the JS folder. I'll copy this, cut it. It's not required. Now go to the uh, root. Here is mine. So I'll go ahead and create a new folder here called Assets. And within that assets folder, again, I put everything comes from the bootstrap tree. All right, so uh, now what are we gonna do is actually, yeah. So now we're gonna create a controller and a view. So if you if you already uh, uh, have less idea about controllers and view what controller and view does go to this URL and make sure you read the views controllers models other necessary tutorials or uh, what did it say uh, like user guide it's very very recommended that you read it uh, yeah so let's begin uh, I gonna I, I have these MVC dev that I've just shown you uh, so first of all, I, I want to create a controller. So inside the application folder directory, I have a folder called controller. Right now, I have only one welcome controller. Uh, so I'm not going to actually use this. So I'm going to create another controller here called home. Home.php. Home and then what I'm going to do is copy a fill line from the uh, welcome or copy the entire code from the welcome and then uh, we can get rid of this comments it's not really necessary and we're gonna change this name to home and uh, we're also gonna change this to home because we want to load the home view that we got that will be uh, uh, created in a minute all right, so I think we have set up our controller, save it, and our controller is ready. Now we need to want to create our view. So the view is a, the view folder is inside the application, and as you see here is the view folder. So I'm gonna create a new view here, and I'm gonna name it as home.php. Mainly here we're gonna have our bootstrap things here we're gonna create a base view directory or a template directory inside the views directory say you're gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna name it as template fine inside this template we're gonna have a new file called header dot php and within that template file we're gonna have another new file called footer.php and um, that's great and now we have header footer mainly this header and this footer are gonna have our all of our bootstrap uh, bootstrap header header codes and footer codes down here so let me go let me go back to bootstrap site and uh, let me let me see their code examples from their repository uh, from their yeah from their user guide so there we go uh, we need to go to the getting started link and from the getting started link we have uh, 
yeah there you go this is the basic template that you're gonna copy so uh, we're gonna copy the entire code uh, given here then go back to code editor and make sure we're in a header we are in the header file and I'm gonna paste all of that then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna keep here everything up to body then I'm gonna cut the other codes then I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna go to the footer file and I'm gonna paste every other any other text that was another code whatever else so um, now we need to uh, want to work with the uh, CSS files so make sure remember that we 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 put everything inside a folder called assets and then then everything is inside that folders specific folders so what we have to do is to tell the coordinator to go to assets then go to CSS then bootstrap the minimum the CSS that's fine then go to the footer same goes here assets then the JS file I think everything is alright because this is a CDN uh, and yeah save it hopefully that's gonna work and we're gonna change the title now in case you're gonna have here a dynamic title like PHP uh, echo title anyway so Yes, yeah, so and then I think everything is alright. Uh, so now I can go to my controller and I want to have my have the title. So I said data title is equals to let me just copy this code. say this load view template header and then in the header we're gonna pass the data uh, uh, remember our title goes with it then we're gonna load the footer view I think that's gonna work and into this view here uh, we gonna simply have a debug container and within that container we're gonna say h1 So, something like that. So, here's our content that we gonna show uh, from our view and inside the controller we are setting, we are telling that uh, append the view, append our home view with the, with the template of bootstrap tree and in the header we are having the title dynamically by uh, so from the controller we are sending the title uh, in the header view and then the header we are printing the title out hopefully that's gonna work uh, now let's try that out so there we go uh, I'm gonna go into index.php then I'm gonna go into home and as you see we have now our bootstrap gonna work I guess couldn't so now if I go to go ahead and view the page source um, then uh, make sure all of our CSS is accessible 
and JavaScript is accessible. Uh, oops, what we did here? Uh, we are kind of like. I think there is a typo in the footer or I forgot to add a oh yeah I forgot to add a slash so save it and now again reload this make sure everything is working so again view the page source and open the JavaScript file and it and it works awesome so uh, now for example say if you wanted to add a nav I personally like it to uh, put the navigation into a separate file for example I'm gonna see I'm gonna show you how we can add a navigation with it so get me back to the bootstrap side and go to the I can remember this is probably into the CSS I just want to copy an, a sample code for the navigate navbar. I think it's in comp components. There we go. Here is the navbar. So I'm just gonna copy and turn navbar. And there we go. <laughs> copy that. Now what I'm gonna do is to create another view inside our template folder and which is which is uh, so first of all let first of all create a new file called uh, nav or navigation navigation.php then simply paste all the code now before we're gonna paste all the code I think it's a good idea to add it in a container so leave that container then we're gonna have our navigation code here uh, yeah all right so there we go and now if we wanted to show our uh, now if we want to show our navigation uh, to our uh, in in the home directory in our home then what we're gonna do is to add the add our navigation into the controller so we're gonna add the controller at the very beginning right here say this load view and then we're gonna load template slash navigation save that now open up the browser reload the page and there we go here is our navigation so it's pretty exciting to work with but one thing is that we have nothing to see in the footer so let's add some text in the footer say let's say we're gonna add some thing like say copyright So now let's see what happened there. As you see, this is our footer, this is our navigation, this is our body part, this is our footer on top of Bootstrap Tree. So it was pretty awesome. And now, if we want to use it as a template in all our controller, we need to load the navigation, and then we need to load the header, then we need to load the uh, yeah this is the controller default view and then we need to load the footer view something just the same way that I did here and I think today this is all everything uh, I think you like it and if you like it throw some thumbs up I will definitely appreciate that thank you for watching <laughs>